Dear students, today I am here with the third chapter of the Vistas, that is, Journey to the End of the Earth. This chapter is basically an article written by Tishani Doshi and it appeared in the Hindu. This article was highly appreciated in the literary and geological circles. It is an illuminating article. The exploration of the landmass covered by ice cap of Antarctica will surely reveal vital information about the birth and evolution of our planet. Let me now begin with the summary. This article by Tishani Doshi begins with a description of her expedition of the continent of Antarctica along with a group of high school students in a Russian research vessel. Doshi informs the reader that Antarctica is the coldest, windiest and the driest continent on earth. This expedition starts from Madras and though she reaches her destination after crossing 9 time zones, 6 checkpoints, 3 water bodies and many ecospheres. The entire journey is carried out in 100 hours. On reaching Antarctica, Doshi's first reaction is of Relief. wonder and she is awestruck by the vast white expanse of Antarctica and is relieved that her entire crew reaches safely. Next, Doshi takes the reader back to 650 million years ago and informs about the history of Antarctica. It was a giant amalgamated landmass in the past and that was called Gondwana. Children, I want to tell you that Gondwana was like a supercontinent of the southern hemisphere that surrounded Antarctica. Human life was non-existent then and flora and fauna flourished amid much warmer climate. Gondwana thrived for a period of 500 million years and eventually got detached from the present day Antarctica to give shape to what we see on the modern globe. A part of Gondwana pushed northwards and formed India along with giving shape to Himalayas. The present day continent of South America also got formed during the process. It gradually drifted off to reach close to North America. Eventually, we got the present shape of Antarctica, which is now an extremely frigid and desolated place. Sharing her sense of amazement about Antarctica, though she tells that as a resident of a warm place like Chennai in South India, she is surprised to look at the smooth and voluminous ice present on this frigid island. She says that she feels as if she is walking on a giant ping pong ball. Antarctica does not have human life and only midges, mites, blue whales and huge icebergs are found here. The presence of bright summer lights around the clock is another factor that surprises her. The next part of the article discusses the impact of human activity on the earth and its consequences. Though she informs that human life is merely 12,000 years old as per the geological clock. Yet humans have wreaked havoc by encroaching upon nature. They have established cities and mega cities besides adding population that is gradually depleting the available resources. This irresponsible attitude has caused increase in the average global temperature and the blanket of carbon dioxide has enveloped the earth. Since climate change is a hotly discussed topic, Doshi conjectures if the West Antarctic ice sheet would melt, if this happens then how would it affect the Gulf Stream and will the earth then come to an end? Though she finds Antarctica as an object of active debate for two reasons. The first is because it is the only place on earth that is still pristine and has half million year old carbon records. The second reason is that Antarctica holds hidden in it the past, present and future of earth. Tishani Doshi also writes about the Students on Ice program in this article. She tells that this program is run by Geoff Green, 
a Canadian who used to cut celebrities and retired people to Antarctica for money. However, he felt dissatisfied at the response from these people and started taking school students instead. He would arrange visits of young students to Antarctica under the program named Students on Ice because he believes that young minds are impressionable and are sure to learn and absorb better from their experience. Pushy's present visit is also a part of this program. She agrees with Geoff Green's belief when she witnesses the children gaining a first-hand experience of collapsing ice shelves, retreating glaciers and re realizing that the threat of global warming is for real. Towards the end of the article, though she enlists some lessons for students, she shares from her experience and observation that even minor environmental changes have huge repercussions. She further tells that the process of photosynthesis involving phytoplankton is very important for the entire food chain. But the depletion of ozone layer injures all types of life on earth and is ill affected when the food chain is disrupted. Hence, in order to save bigger things, we must first take care of smaller things. Though she ends the article by saying that the Antarctica experience was memorable for all. When they had reached 65.55 degrees south of equator, Doshi and the other crew were told to get down since the vessel could not sail further. The crew landed on solid ice of Antarctica after putting on ice shoes that helped them to walk on slippery surface of the continent. They wore sunglasses to shield their eyes from glare. This crew walked on one meter thick layer of ice underneath which was 180 meters of salt water full of marine life. While walking, they also saw crab eater seals sitting as if one sees stray dogs. Doshi is overwhelmed by the beauty of balance in this place and wonders what would happen if Antarctica became a warm place and would it then lead to extinction of human life as well? However, she hopes that the value of idealism in the young students will certainly find a solution, even though it may take years. Though she is happy that the day has made the difference. That's all for today. In case of any doubts or queries, you can drop us a message on Instagram. Or you can also drop them in the comment section below. I'll revert to them as soon as possible. See you in the next video. Till then.